Hello YouTube, Maximum Photoshops, back here with another tutorial for you guys. Today is going to be a very cool but simple tutorial. We're going to learn today how to use a little bit of Puppet War, how to use some pen tool, some lasso tool, and whatnot. Let's get right into it. Today we'll be making this evolution of man poster. You'll see we have the monkey and then the evolution up to the person right over here. And then he's jumping listening to music with his headphones. Let's get right to it. For this tutorial, you'll need this image. Now I'll post the link for download right in the description, so don't worry. You download it, pause the video, and come back when you're ready. Once you have that open, let's get started. Here we are with our JPEG or our image. First thing we want to do is to crop it and make it bigger. So let's take the crop tool and we'll make it a larger size. Somewhere around there. Should be good. And enter. Now the background, let's unlock it by double clicking and saying OK. Let's click G for our paint bucket tool. Make sure our foreground color is white and click over there. That should make it one white background. Now what we need to do, we need to copy this man standing over here. Let's select our layer with these mans. Let's take our polygon lasso tool and we'll start selecting around him. Once you've selected it, you'll see these running ants around your selection. You'll right click and let's click layer via copy. Now let's take our tool over here, our cursor, and while holding shift, drag him to the right. Now if I take out my other two layers, you'll see that there's a white background around him. In order to take it out, let's click W, which will open up our magic wand. If it doesn't open up, you'll want to hold that icon and click magic wand. And with a tolerance of 20, we'll select it and click delete. To deselect it, we'll click Control and D. Very good. Let's make the other two layers visible again. Now we start using Puppet War. Let's move him a bit closer, and we'll go to Edit, and Puppet War. As you can see, it may, be look, it may look a bit confusing for somebody that hasn't used Puppet War before, but I'll give you a brief explanation. There are many lines in Puppet War, and whenever they intersect, you can click there, and you can make sure that it doesn't move. So, example. I want to make sure that my two knees of the person doesn't don't move, and I want to make sure that the hip doesn't move. So I'll click in the two spots of the hip and two spots of the knees, and that will make sure that when I warp this, it will not move. Now, we want to make him jumping with his legs back. So since we've made our four points, making sure that our lower body doesn't move too much, we'll take one foot and click and hold. And while holding, we drag upwards. And now we do the same thing for the other leg. Click and hold, drag upwards, and let go. Very cool. We also want him leaning back a bit. So let's grab the head, click and hold, and drag back. Really cool. Once you're done with that, hit enter. Very nice. Now it will render very quickly, and you'll see we have our guy over here. While holding shift, I'll click on him and I'll move him to the right a bit. Now we'll zoom in. Let's fix his foot by taking the brush tool, making it a bit bigger, taking the white, and just making him circular. Really good. Very cool. Now the next step is to add the MP3 player in his hands the headphones on his head, and the wire that connects them. Let's get started. Let's move into where his hands are. Let's make a new layer by clicking this button right here. Let's go back to our polygon lasso tool. And let's draw a box inside his hand. This box over here is our MP3. Now let's go ahead and take the brush tool. Make the size a good amount. Make sure that black is our foreground color, and we'll brush inside of it. Really cool. 
Next, let's make a new layer, and we're going to make his headphones. To make his headphones, you're going to want to make your brush 25 pixels. Make sure that white is your foreground color, and click somewhere around where you think his ears would be. Next, we're going to make our brush 12 pixels, and click inside the circle with white as your foreground color. Then, while holding shift, click outside of his head. This is going to create that strap in which the headphones are put, being put on your head. The final step to this is creating the wire. Now, the challenge for this is that when the wire goes through his body, it's going to be white. But when the wire is outside his body, we're going to have to make it black. Here's how we do it. Let's create a new layer. Take our pen tool by clicking P or just clicking over here. Let's go to where we want to draw. Let's click on where we want the wire to exit the MP3 player. Click somewhere around here, right in front of his chest, and drag outwards to make a nice curve. While holding Alt, click on the point that you just made. Now, while clicking inside that white circle that you made, click and drag outwards a bit. Sorry guys. Very nice. Now go back to your brush tool. Make sure that your brush is 4 pixels. Make sure that your foreground color is white. Go back to your pen tool. Right click and say stroke path. The tool should be brush and simulate pressure should not be checked. And let's click OK. Very cool. Now we can right click and delete path. Now you can see that we have a wire showing over here but no wire showing on the outside. Let's change that. Let's copy this layer by clicking Control J. Let's hide the layer under it by clicking this eye right here. Let's take the eraser tool. Let's zoom in and let's erase the white on his body. Next, let's double click on our layer. Let's go to Color Overlay and for the color, let's select black. Now, let's make the layer under it visible. While holding shift, click the other layer. Click control E as an elephant. And combine the two layers. So, that is it guys. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, please like and subscribe. More videos coming your way. Comment below on what you want to see happen in the channel. If you want any new tutorial done. I can get it done for you. Once again, thanks for watching, and Daniel from Maximum Photoshops, out.